Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back. Andrew Rooney here, and I've got a brand new patron and a brand new request. This one is really hot off the press. That's what she said. It was there when I woke up this morning. That's what she said. And I'm going to get to it straight away. That's what she said. Because it is Bran Dayla from Mastodon. Now, I know he's been requested a bit, so hey, we've got a Patreon request for it. Got to do it. The patron... David Goal. He's left a little comment here. Hey dude, I've really been enjoying your videos. I became a patron so I could put you onto Mastodon before your channel blows up anymore. And I'm just <laughs> in an ocean of requests. That's a good point actually. Although, before your channel blows up, I thought it had already blown up, dude. I mean, what? But that's a good point. There is gonna be a point, I think, like the way things are heading and the trajectory mm. and the <laughs> <laughs> Woo! and the trajectory is up uh, pretty steep. There might be a point where the patron isn't. I, I'm not able to do it. There might just be too many requests. Where you know, in that case, I would just shut it down and return people's money or, or whatever. But anyway, on with the message. I think Bran gets overlooked and underrated a lot because he doesn't live on the double kick like a lot of metal drummers. Ooh, shots fired. He did a few drum playthroughs for Minor Symbol promos and they're good vids. I'd recommend Ghosts of Corellia or Precious Stones, but they're all good. Link below. Take care. David Gull, thank you so much. I have been looking for an excuse to get to Brian Daler and I've never heard him. I've heard a lot of good things. Your comment about him being underrated or overlooked, yeah, I disagree. A lot of people have asked for him and the video in question is in fact the Minal Symbols, Brian Daler, Ghosts of Corellia. Let's check it out. Okay, I didn't want to, I really didn't want to stop that because it was a very intriguing opening, but I do want to go back. Who we got on the bass drum here? That's the guy, Rodney Dangerfield from Back to School. Um, I, uh, unfortunately, I don't recognize the other person there. Why are they on the bass drum? And also, let's give it up for this drum kit. That is a freaking awesome drum kit. I'm going to start it again. Let's head up. You can't beat a nice big triplet fill around the toms. Breaks up, breaks up the subdivision. Let's just take that back a bit.
Hold up. David Goal mentioned single kick or or did he just say he's not a double kick shredder? I'm sure I'm hearing some double kick in there. Either that or he's got a very fast single pedal foot. Note. <laughs> I said single pedal foot. He doesn't have a very fast single pedal. Sorry to pause it, but this is a, a big misconception and I, I've just landed on it accidentally. It's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. Not a pet peeve, but it's I think it's just a myth and a misconception. People searching for the perfect kick pedal so they can play what they want to play on it. <laughs> it's not the pedal. It's not the pedal. Just get whatever pedal they're all good get a dw 9000 5000 grab a tama iron cobra and learn the pedal don't rely on the pedal anyway i'm gonna just go back a little bit he had a good sweat on this guy too this was not his first song of the day either that or he had a very very big warm-up That's not double kick. Yeah. Double kick. Who have we got there? That is a sick tombi too. I don't know that person on the right. Hit me in the comments. Who was it? Let's take that back. <laughs> that is a dope zombie. Tension and release. I really love that extended. I was kind of, I was re actually really holding my breath there. The extended tension part on the toms and like very intense riding on the crashes. And then the release, that nice, um, subtle sort of breakdown, just light shimmering work on the cymbals. Really, really cool. And I'm super jealous of this drum kit. By the way, are these toms upside down? It looks like a like the Tama uh, the, that that rim system, but it looks like it's upside down. That's interesting. It's working for him. 
Let's pop back a little bit. Tension, tension, building, 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 building. Nice. Clean chops too. Hey, triplets again. Brand likes his triplets. I'm going to pop back. It sounded like just a, a snare kick, snare kick, snare kick. But that and that and that and that and that. Ah, so good. So good. Hi, my name's Bron Daler. I play the drums for Mastodon. And I Bron Daler. Okay, Bron Daler. So I pronounced that wrong. Uh, apologies to him and to his fans. I like how they do a little breakdown of what they're doing after and what Hi, they're playing. My name's Bron Daler. I play the drums for Mastodon. Bron Daler. And I am a proud sponsor of the Symbols of Minel. Here's my uh, symbol setup. I got these beautiful Byzance Foundry Reserve 15 inch barrel aged hi hats right here. They are uh, uh, the epitome of style and grace, and they sound amazing. Right here, we have a 19 inch medium thin Byzance Crash. I like to hit that every so often. Uh, this is my go to 20 inch medium Byzance Crash. I hit that guy a lot with a glancing blow, of course. This is my 22 inch Always. Jazz China. For when I'm feeling jazzy, jazz over there, China jazz hands all over that <laughs> cool sound. It's kind of a muted, you know, you can ride it, you know, and it's not too. You're playing uh, that crash. You got to play it like that. And then this is Top my hat. signature uh, classic custom ghost ride. I, I love it for the articulation of the bell. It's named the ghost ride after a song we have called Ghost of Corellia, where I use the bell quite a bit in the song. And uh, yeah, that's my symbol setup. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Wow, these minor symbol videos are awesome. Really high production values, fantastic shots of the drummer. I think I'll be checking out a few more of these. And yeah, I would like to say thank you to David Gole for requesting such an awesome pick. I'm constantly shocked at how good the Patreon picks are. That kind of sounds mean, but you kind of expect there to be a few duds and there, there just isn't. So I guess if anyone's keen enough to support me by heading to the Patreon and really wants their song heard, that probably is going to be pretty decent. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't be surprised at that. Hey, remember if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment with anything else I should check out and hey, check you on the next video. Ciao.